Hi friends, hope you're doing well. I'm Dr. Melin. So we have around uh, two months and a few more days for uh, NEET PG 2023. And uh, this is the time when a lot of students they panic because now we have uh, two months of a lot of students tend to make a lot of wrong decisions and they tend to take a lot of uh, wrong steps. They And it affects their rank. Like a lot of students are in a good track. They're doing well till now. But in final two months, in, the, in, in a bit of, you know, doing a lot of things, and in a bit of achieving impossible things, they uh, make some calls, they take some decisions which actually affect uh, their preparation and uh, eventually it leads to a not so good rank. So I just want to tell you here with my experience and uh, there are a few things, uh, there are some, I'll definitely say them as rules that you should follow in the last two months and what to do and uh, what not to do. So uh, why I'm telling you this, because see, this is not something that I have invented. During the last few years, whatever experience I had during my preparation days, also I have been in touch with a lot of students uh, over the few years who were preparing for PG entrance exam. Also, what I learned through uh, from my mentors who guided me during my preparation time. So this is all summary of all the points. And uh, I would just like to, you know, make you think because as I say that the motto of my channel is not to teach you anything, but to make you think about the fact which are uh, very vital during preparation phase. So first thing that you should know that you should stick to the basics in next two months. Do not try to do any experiment. If you have given the last need page or an exam, remember how many silly mistakes you do. You know, these are the silly mistakes which actually affect your rank. I have given a detailed analysis in my previous videos that how even a two, two to three questions can make the difference of like 500 ranks and how they can affect your result. So you have to know that how many silly mistakes you did from the uh, topic that you read from the notes that you read everything will come from from your notes what i have seen you know like the uh, when i gave my neat my aims or inict i remember you know i the questions are still the same questions are still coming from the same topic you do not know because these questions were asked like four or five years back again they're asking the same question so everything will be from your notes and if there are some questions which are not from your notes probably not many people will know about it why because see, all the teachers that different classes are having, actually some teachers, suppose some teachers are there in class A and some teachers are there in class B. So teachers keep, you know, mixing, they keep changing from one class to another. So eventually the notes that you are having, they are same everywhere. So do not compare the notes. Do not say that these notes, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side. So sometimes you feel that other notes are very good and I, ha I have been reading the wrong notes till now or these are not so good notes, so I should switch to something else. Do not do this mistake. Whatever you have been following till now, do not change it for the next two months. And always remember the simple questions, the easy questions will decide your fate. See, as I said that, you know, there are very simple questions, the questions which are asked from your topics, which you already know. So if you do mistake in that, that will affect your rank. If you do difficult question wrong, it will not uh, do your, uh, you know, it will not affect your rank because a lot of students will do the same mistake. It's also about how well you revise and you know, you have to focus on the quantity, uh, the quality of the revisions. You know, a lot of students, they say, sir, should I revise like four or five times? See, you have to be practical that see how, whatever data you have, whatever notes you have and how much time you can revise. If you plan to do impossible, then uh, that will definitely affect your preparation. Second consistency is the key. See, you don't need a thousand motivational videos. What you need is action and self-discipline. See, I always, in none of my videos, I never ask to, you know, subscribe or like the video or, you know, disseminate this information. But because what I feel that whenever you, uh, you know, you feel demotivated, this is the time you should come to the YouTube or any, you know, page. It's not like you open, open YouTube every day and search for motivation. It's not like you go to every day to a motivational speaker and, you know, try to uh, get something. Then this will become a habit and, the uh, you know, the studies will take a backseat. What I used to do during preparation time, and I have seen a lot of students doing they keep grinding, they keep studying, they keep doing the hard work. And whenever they feel low, whenever I used to feel low, that, that was the time I would go and, you know, go in search of interviews or, uh, you know, like if there is someone that I can talk to. Don't make it a habit, you know, it's not like that you should always go and uh, search for motivation. The most important thing in the last two months is discipline. And you do not, as I said, you do not need motivation. What you need is discipline. Get up, you have to go to, uh, go to your seat, you have to get uh, go to the library or where you are studying. You have to show up every day. You have to make a t schedule that you will be there at 7 o'clock, no matter what, you know. It's like winter, so it's difficult to get out uh, from the bed. But trust me, it is just the first step that is difficult. Once you are out uh, of your bed, like the first step, trust me, you will feel better. But getting outside the blanket is the most difficult task and you have to do that on your own. Keep it simple. Bite only as much as you can chew. A lot of students, you know, they gather a lot of material. There are a lot of, you know, I have seen it's a, you know, uh, very promotional strategies by a lot of classes that they will 
launch a lot of exciting things and you know a lot of uh, attractive material at the end of preparation and this is actually what uh, deviates a lot of students so keep it simple whatever you have been doing it now you have to do it again and again see i have seen students see if you ask me i'll tell you there are 50000 students uh, suppose we know that there are 160000 180000 students who will be writing it pg but not everybody is preparing seriously there are 40 to 50000 students who actually prepare for it so your competition is with those 40000 out of those 20000 are the one who are you know who are ticking every box right who are doing it well who are you know revising their notes well so actually it is going to be you know decision where you stand in those 20000 in the upper zone or the lower zone so what what uh, who decided i have seen see the beauty i'll, I'll tell you in the uh, subsequent slides about it the success is again as i said not about doing the fancy stuff it's not like how many books you read whose books you read it's about doing the same same thing again and again the better you revise the better your results will be and i have seen the students with the simple strategy to wonder see we always watch the interviews of rank 1 rank 10 rank 100 and you know uh, in need but if you think even the student who has a rank of 1500 a rank of 700 a rank of 2000 a rank of 4000 will get a very good branch even the branch of his choice and you know what i have noticed among those students you know we, we do not see a lot of interviews of these students so usually their strategies nobody knows and nobody you know most of the uh, classes they just shows the interview of the toppers like rank one two three and these are the students who do not know any classes who are actually brilliant since their usual days who have been reading or the foundation students so sometimes we don't relate with the, their strategies but there are the students in the range of 1000 to 5000 who have a simple strategy and that strategy is just sticking to your notes and doing things again and again but we do not listen to their interviews and there are actually not a lot of interviews of this group available but i'm telling you that this is where you have a great chance so strategy you have to keep it uh, very simple lastly don't chase your heroes you know a lot of students i uh, a lot of students they, i receive mail from a lot of students and they say that sir you are our idol and you know uh, i'm your fan and we want to follow your strategy you see trust me the only person who can help you is you see i i'm not your hero and i'm not trying to be one i have seen students you know they try to relate with their idols and you know they'll keep messaging them they'll keep emailing them and they will try to you know be in touch with them but you see this is not something my goal is to you know show you the path that how can you achieve your dream and you will be my colleagues in the future it's not that you know that i want you to be my fan or you know i want you to be uh, for anyone's fan for that sake i want you to achieve your dream and get successful and someday if we meet we just i just want that you know you should tell me that sir i with the hard work i have uh, made my dream possible that is something that you should tell yourself I will be more happy to know that rather than knowing that, you know, you like uh, my way of uh, conveying things or anything. Everyone has their unique story. See, I have my story. There are students who have their story. There are a lot of brilliant interviews, brilliant students who are guiding through their YouTube channel as well. So everyone has your unique story and you cannot replicate them. Uh, replicate them. You cannot replicate my story. You cannot, cannot replicate anyone else's story. You have to create your own story. Everyone build their see every as what i i mean here is everyone build their tower of success but the foundation remains same whatever i have studied whatever the other students have studied everyone has the same platform so that platform is your notes and doing your pyqs along with the selective custom models which i have been telling you through the old uh, videos again and again addition to that you have to attach your personal touch so you don't have to follow anyone blindly you have to attach your personal touch again do not you know do not follow like 10 people i'll say see what everyone is saying and see what is helping you what strategy is helping you and try implementing into that maybe there are some opinions of mine which you might not agree with it's okay whatever is helping you you have to integrate that into your uh, preparation and you have to create your own story of success lastly as i said you don't have to be rank one to get what you want even if you get rank between 1000 to 7000 8000 still you'll get a very good rank a lot of students they try to study for rank one that what what do i mean is they try to study everything they will uh, do the whole q bank they will do everything and the, in exam they will do a lot of silly mistakes because they are not able to revise and retain so much of information remember even if you are somewhere in the rank 2000 to 5000 you still get a very good rank if you are between 7000 you still get a branch of your choice maybe not in the branch of the college that, that you want but a lot of students who end up, you know, between, let's say, 9,000 till 20,000 or 25,000, it's still a good rank if you see. But they do not get the branch of uh, their choice. And the reason is doing a lot of things. So don't, you know, 
if you study what is required what is important and the important topics which i have given my in old videos so that will be more useful uh, for you see material uh, that we have the class that the classes provide and that is available is vast and it's not possible for anyone even not possible for rank one to cover it completely see there are a lot of students who are the part of foundation batch and they have been studying it for so many years so it's easy for them to revise it faster but if you are someone who has started during internship or after internship you have to be wise very important stay away from social media it's harmful see trust me no matter even if you the only mode you know that is going to help you is the airplane mode or a switch off mode see i have been uh, been telling students you know if you want to have a planner if you want to be disciplined you know the don't you know there are a lot of apps but once you open the phone there are a lot of distractions next two months you have to make the best two months of your life you don't need any timer you don't need any app you just have to switch up your phone and let me tell you that phone is the biggest distraction you have see i have been telling students see when you are studying your brain is in a brain is in a very efficient mode whatever you are reading your brain try to you know uh, remember it it try to you know uh, integrate those things into your mind so when you open facebook or instagram whatever information you are reading there also it is also going to get st stored whatever song you will you know listen or whatever uh, things you will uh, like maybe web series or movies if you do it like con continuously it will actually integrate your mind and it will confuse and it will you know maybe it will replace whatever you have been reading so it's very difficult for your brain to you know differentiate what you have been reading like this is facebook i should not store this information and this is why you remember it in exam but you will not remember what you read in your exam so don't do that just switch off your phone don't waste your time clapping for others so you know we see a lot of students they will share their success stories they will share so it's not like every day you should you know keep following them and you know you just keep uh you know get uh be happy about it it's okay now it's time that you should take on the stage you should you know make your story and then we will clap for you you have to work in silence nobody should know what you're doing you know it's it's like you are accountable for your own uh plans so work in silence and let your success uh make the noise so guys next two months make them the best month of your life stay disciplined and just make sure that you study well and you know uh, you just on your the study table away from all the distractions and trust me you don't have to be the topper you don't have to be the most player mind i have seen the students who just stick to their basics stick to your notes and multi uh, revise them multiple times they are the one who get a very good thing. so guys i hope this video will help you and i wish you all the best and take care